So uh, my mom was a stay-at-home mom when I was younger. I actually have three sisters. And then after we all became school age, mom first uh, got her EMT and then subsequently got her firefighter certifications. And then mom at the ripe old age of 47 went to nursing school and got her nursing degree. And she has been working as a nurse ever since. So now I'm trying to continue to follow in her footsteps. You know, we challenge each other. It's, it's just kind of fun. It's like our special mother-daughter relationship that we have. So when we arrive, we clock in and then we start to check in the ambulance and make sure it has you know, enough oil, enough gas, the tires are aired up, we make sure we have enough oxygen. You come into work for 24 hours, you basically live here and it's kind of like a family. We cook meals together, like I said, we train together, we run calls together, um, whatever. So, so, that, so the stick up there, that shows you that it's the ambulance that's going out because it's blue, the fire truck is red, so the stick kind of shows you who's getting called out to. I think I will always have a career in the medical field because it's my passion. I just, I love science, I love biology. That's, it's my jam, I, I really enjoy it. I got a really good science-based education at Central. The Ver, I basically lived at Vermeer the three and a half years I was there. It was just a really good environment to learn in. I really enjoyed going there. I'm glad I went there versus going to a larger school. You know, my professors all knew me by name. I could go in and talk to them, I could ask them for help. I wasn't just a number, I wasn't just another student sitting in a seat. It, it, you know, it was a small campus. I could practically walk from one end to the other in five minutes, and which helped when I was on Pella Ambulance because I actually was on call a couple of times during the day during classes and I had to like be able to get to my vehicle to go on the call. So it was a lot, got a great base knowledge before I came here because this department is very busy. Um, I think this year they think we're going to run 14,000 calls. I mean, I've, I've been on some pretty serious traffic fatalities where people drove drunk, drove too fast, um, people had medical events while they were driving and caused some pretty serious accidents and that will live with you forever. I think with a good learning environment that helps foster your passion for what you're doing. I wanted to make it through my college with knowledge, with decent grades, and uh, you know, with, with a, a happy experience and happy memories to look back on, and I believe I got that at Central. Even Dr. Shriver, who taught OCHEM, OCHEM is like the most boring class in the world, and he somehow managed to make that class interesting and fun, and I managed to pull off a B in it, and I still don't know how I did that. <laughs> That class was hard. I mean, Central challenged me, but also made it fun. It was the best place for me, and I can't imagine have, having gone anywhere else.